Right. Um, film Hawke's Bay Trust. Ah, good morning. Good morning. Ms. Tiley. Councillors, page 15 of the staff response. <coughs> Thank you, Mr. George. Right. <clears throat> okay, so you can. Oh, I see you've got a little PowerPoint there too. Oh, Great. Got, um, I'll, 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 <clears throat> just, just if you could push your microphone there, and I'll. There you go. You've got oh, your sorry. PowerPoint there. Lovely. Okay. Um, can you hear me? Is that? Yep. I'm Tessa Tiley from Film Hawks Bay. Thank you for seeing me. Um, you probably know what Film Hawks Bay does. I've been here before and from the written submission. So in this presentation, I'd just like to give you some recent examples of screen activity in the Bay and also just give you a wee outline of what we plan for the next 12 months and your financial support would go toward. Firstly, I just want to explain the um, images behind me are just a slideshow of different potential locations Hawke's Bay has on offer. Um, these images have come from either myself taking them, nice people like Tim taking photos, um, also Art Deco Trust, Hastings District Council, Richard Brimmer, uh, Tourism Hawke's Bay. And... Um, the recent screen activity that's come here is because people are interested in these, some of these locations. Um, a few months ago, a Canadian crew here came here for a couple of weeks to film a Canadian reality series. And a week after that, a healthy living commercial was um, looking at shooting in an orchard here. Earlier in the year, Film Hawke's Bay had an inquiry about helicopters here for a uh, still shoot up the Tukituki Valley. And we had another inquiry about a sunflower crop and another inquiry about or, um, orange groves. I didn't know that we had either, and we do have both, which was really good. And recently I had a call from a local producer who wanted a crew to film his onions being harvested so he could put something on the net, which we helped with. And I think it was around about the new year, um, we had an inquiry about a Scandinavian insurance ad that they wanted to um, film on the top of Cape Kidnappers. <coughs> Excuse me. Late last year we were involved with the hugely successful Eternity premiere. It was the movie that quite a lot of it was shot here and it showed um, Napier Hastings and the surrounds on the big screen and it's been very successful around the world. And our latest inquiry that we've had has just been in the last few weeks. It's for an, an American reality series that would like to come here for four months. And their, um, their brief was green rolling hills and um, open, stunning open space where the contestants can um, test their athletic, athletic ability. I jumped at this chance because I think if there's one thing that we have at the moment is green rolling hills. Um, if, this, if this production came here, they'd be here for four months and they'd probably have about a crew of at least 50, crew and uh, contestants of about 50 people, which would bring in the vicinity of 100, 000, hundreds of thousands of dollars into the region. They would use almost as many businesses uh, as there are in, available in the Bay. You can never quite tell what they're going to ask for, but it's very, that's what I can say. Um, if Film Hawks Bay hadn't been here, none of these, no, I won't say none of them, almost all of them would not, these inquiries would not have happened. We've either facilitated them at the beginning or somewhere through the process we've been involved. And they have all happened in the last six to eight months, which incidentally is um, about eight months ago, Film Hawks Bay was in a position to uh, start a newsletter with the screen industry and another newsletter with local businesses, which means that we have constant contact with the, with the uh, screen industry, telling them about this region. And what, what we're trying to do, and I think we're doing it successfully, is make sure that this region is top of mind for the um, industry so they don't forget about us. And um, 
and we also yes we also have the newsletters and then we also have the um the website which has got the image gallery on which we have just tripled in size it's got about 160 images on it which we either update or increase the number of them and these are all about to be on the um, website or they've they're already on there um, we're steadily building our profile with the um, screen production houses but nothing happens straight away they're interested and we know that they're sniffing around because we've had all this interest but they're not going to suddenly go it's a little bit like the tourism industry which sounded quite depressing from what um, that chap was saying um, people they're not going to suddenly switch from their their favorite holiday accommodation and come to Hawke's Bay but once they know about it they're going to go oh yeah 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 no that's quite cool and then they're going to find out more about it and then they're going to book and if they like it they'll come back and and this is what the screen industry is doing at the moment they're interested they're sniffing around they're asking where in their minds which is a huge jump than what it was even um, 12 months ago we're competing against uh, we're competing against the world, but we're competing against uh, Queenstown, Auckland and Wellington, which are very established. And the second reason, um, our progress hasn't been quite as fast as we would have liked. Um, and one of the reasons is our lack of funding, which is, you know, probably everyone's reason for anything. Um, we we have made incredible progress for, with, with the amount of funding that we've had. We've got a purely voluntary um, board of trustees, all who have had experience in the industry. And um, myself as the manager, I uh, work very much part-time and 25% of my time is voluntary. So your financial support would go toward, in the next 12 months, would go toward an advertising campaign in the screen industry magazine. It's called On Film and it's like the Bible to anyone um, in the screen industry. It, it tells everyone who's working on what, what's happening, what's going to happen, what has, has happened and latest trends. We would like to get um, some advertising in there as well as editorial. We are um, aiming to get more experienced, very experienced industry people here in the Bay uh, to make it financially more um, attractive to the screen industry and it turns out that quite a few people who have had a lot of experience in the industry have come from Hawke's Bay and they've still got a soft spot for the region so we want to woo them back for jobs we're not asking them to come and live here because um, there isn't the work but if they come back for jobs they don't have they do, the production doesn't have to pay per diems or accommodation so it's more attractive to the um, written submission we had three location scouts here for 24 hours and showed them the variety of what Hawke's Bay has to offer and we'd like to do that again. There's nothing like showing people um, first hand what's on offer here. So that, that's it in a nutshell what we're um, asking for your financial support for. I think, to be honest, I've recently seen something that said you'd rather um, fund for individual projects rather than, is that correct, that rather than ongoing costs? Um, have I got that right? Not particularly. I mean, we're not really a funding agency as such. No. Well, there was, I, I saw the Napier City Council on Friday and they said, well, there's Business Hawks Bay, which we put money in toward, which is looked after by the Regional Council. So I guess, no? Supported, <laughs> not looked Supported. after. Supported. Okay, so coming here doesn't mean to say that we're going to that economic body. Is that economic body separate? Uh, well, part of our decision making will be around the right. um, the total picture, if you like, including the economic development potential okay. that you've just outlined. So. Yep, cool. Um, okay. Can we, um, any questions before we, we've got a minute and a half. Uh, Councillor Douglas. Uh, apart from being disappointed, there's no pictures of figs up there yet, but that can be addressed. Send them in. <laughs> um, it, when Eternity was uh, shown here, mm -hmm. um, there was a lot of folks in town brought in to do that, and you were involved in talking with them. What sort of outcome was derived from that sort of initiative? Because that's the sort of thing you're talking about, I suspect, to some extent. Uh, no. Well, it... The, the sort of people that came in there were producers and um, people that worked on the production. And although, yes, it would have had some effect, the people that we're looking for at coming here and showing them are the people that actually either have um, a large influence over what uh, decision is made for a location, which are location scouts or directors. Yep. Councillor Rose, do you think 
you. Um, the, um, the work that you did, you said you just got a recent inquiry for somebody wanting pictures of Green Hills for a four-month program, and you gave us several other um, examples prior to that. You'd do that on a commercial basis, wouldn't you? I mean, you, you would charge. No. We are not allowed to charge under international protocol. There's about 350 regional film offices in the world, and they all come under a body. And um, under the international protocol, we can't charge. So there's no way you can recover your costs? No, or? not from the industry. We're basing it on, and this is how the other regional film offices work in the country, is that it is the local businesses that will benefit from it, um, therefore it's through the ratepayers. Mm -hmm. yep. okay. mm. um, so what's your total funding at the moment, and where do you source it from? At the moment, we've been um, supported by the Hastings District Council, um, and they have provided 10000 for us this year, which we will survive on, and I mean, you know, survive and that's it. Um, and we do plan to, in about September, do a drive to get private um, funding as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll just also, um, I'll leave these. These are just our um, financial... Um, accounts which Great. weren't available. Oh, yep. thank you very much. Oh, that'll be very useful. Thank you.